It's a quite extraordinary uh, scam. And what has happened is we've seen this all before. The European Union was among the first to climb onto this bandwagon and say, we must show how good we are at shutting down our economies in the name of saving the planet. So they introduced a cap and trade scheme. And every member state promptly allocated itself more carbon credits than the carbon it was emitting at the time. So the price of carbon credits crashed to zero. Then they tried again, this time giving themselves a slightly tighter target, and the economy collapsed. So the price of carbon credits crashed to zero. Then Chicago, which of course was the home of the futures market originally, said, why can't we get into this? And the likes of Al Gore and Lehman Brothers then went into it, and Lehman Brothers collapsed because their eye was off the ball. Instead of getting on with genuine investment, they were faffing around trading hot air. And now, on the Chicago exchange, as we talk today, the price of a ton of carbon emitted is 25 US cents. You might as well not bother. Those screaming the loudest about man-made global warming fears are opposed to global warming cap and trade. The UK environmental guru James Lovelock has called the cap and trade approach, quote, verging on a gigantic scam, unquote. NASA's James Hansen, who's been the US's most vocal global warming promoter, has called the cap and trade approach ineffectual and hopes it fails. Lest there be any doubt about the true motives behind global warming cap and trade, you need to look no further than Senator Ben Cardin, a Democrat senator from Maryland, who called global warming cap and trade, quote, the most significant revenue generating proposal of our time. Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels explained, quote, a lot of people will get filthy rich doing nothing for the environment, unquote. Many think cap and trade will be just another law passed in Washington. But the Washington Post explains, current global warming proposals, quote, will require a wholesale transformation of the nation's economy and society, unquote. 